Okay, everybody. In this video, we are going to do this program. This is in your lecture notes. Uh, the student score. Okay, I copied and pasted all these requirements here. So. Um, declare a two-dimensional array that represents five students with four test scores. And if you remember, a two-dimensional array is an array of arrays. So uh, the first dimension has five students. That means you have five rows. Okay, one array has five elements that represent the five students. And then for each student, that element is actually an array object, and that array has uh, four columns that represents the four test scores. So that's what a two-dimensional array is. Let's declare it, okay? <clears throat> a two-dimensional array that represents the test scores, so we will make it a double. That's the two-dimension, and the score and five students, that's the first dimension, and four test scores, okay? And then we need to assign 100 to all tests uh, for all students using a for loop. You have to use a for loop or a while loop or a do while loop. You have to use a loop whenever you process an array. And when you process a double array, you have to use a nested for loop. Okay, so let's use a for loop. So the first for loop, the outer for loop, is really looping through the one-dimensional array, the student, number of students. So it is the length of this um, but array, okay, the five rows. <clears throat> the nested loop, okay, the inner loop loops through the number of columns. So the outer loop loops through the number of rows. The inner loop loops through the number of columns. We start at zero. The number of col columns is the number of elements in each row. So how do you reference each row? You reference each row using as an element, right? That's the element. It's length. So J, I'm using J. Okay, so if you look at this, this is the number of rows. That's the table. That's the array itself. This is the number of columns, that's the length of each element in test score. Okay. Um, okay, so now we need to assign um, 100 to each element. To reference each element, we need to reference the number of rows, <coughs> which is I, and the number of columns, which is J. That's it, right? Okay, now let's print it out and see uh, what it looks like. I'm just going to copy this loop so that I do not have to write it again. Um, okay, so we copy it and we want to print it out. I'm going to use print so that we print each um, student score. Okay, I'm going to do this. Student Oh, uh, okay, let me uh, stop here. I will write it and then show you, okay? Okay, everybody, I didn't want to take the time to write this uh, while recording. So here is what I did, okay? For this one, remember, this goes through the number of rows. So each time we go through a row, I'm printing out student, okay, that's the string, plus the number of student. So this i, the first time it's zero, zero plus one is one. The second time it's one, one plus one is two. So this way you can print out student one, student two, student three. And notice that I used print this way. This loop will be printed on the same line, okay?
And so I print out the score in the inner loop, which goes through the number of columns, right? That prints out the score plus a space so that we can separate them. And so after this inner loop is done, remember that means the four test scores are done. And we exit that inner loop. Now we print out an empty line and then we increment i to go back to print out student two. Okay, so that's how this works. Uh, let's see, this is what it looks like. Okay, <clears throat> so this line really uh, prints out the empty, lo empty line so that you go to the next line. Okay, so we print it out. Now we need to make some changes. We need to change um, the third student's test two to 50, the last student's last test to 87. So what? <laughs> the third student's test two. The third student is located at position two, right? So that's the third student. But if you count the number of rows, we start at zero for an array, so zero, one, two. And his uh, second test is at position one, okay? And then the last student's last test score, what did I do? Okay, um, last student, we have five students, the last student, the five students, the last student is at position four. It's always one less than the length. And the last test is at four minus one at three. Okay. So now let's print it out again and just to see. Okay, and we can see still the third student's second test is changed, and last student's last test is changed. Okay. So the next thing to do is to print out, we did that, calculate the total points of all tests and calculate the total, um, oh, we did that, right? And then we calculate the average as well. To calculate the total, we need to declare an, a double, call it total, initialize it to zero, and let's do a double average as well, okay? We, Declare those variables and um, initialize them. And to calculate the total, you really need to use a for loop again. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, remember, if you want to act, uh, process each element, you need to use a for loop. And when it's a two-dimensional array, you need to use a nested for loop. Okay, so we need to add each test score to total. That's it. That calculated the total. And then to do the average, okay? So um, we have, how many scores do we have? Five students, four total, four tests, that's 20 scores. So average would be equal to total divided by 20. Right, and then let's print it out, the information. I will do this. Okay, so we calculated uh, the total and the average, and here is the one statement to uh, display. The total score is plus total, and then I'm going to the next line, so I need the um, concatenation. And I want to start with a new line. So that's the new line character. And the average is average. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> so here is the total score. And this is the average. Pretty good. 96.85. That's it, everybody.